Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a video inspired by Catherine. I'll leave her channel linked down below. Um, it's gonna be my favorite fall home fragrance. I believe she just talked about wax. I'm including a few candles in here. So I have Bath and Body Works, I have Scentsy, I have things you can get at Walmart. So let's just get into it. So I want to start off with Bath and Body Works and specifically I want to start off with candles. So the absolute epitome of fall, pumpkin apple. You guys, I love pumpkin apple. I love it for the fall. I will, honestly, I will burn this outside of fall just because I love pumpkin apple. But like the hand soap, this candle, you just can't go wrong with pumpkin apple. It's literally pumpkins and apples. Um, it says red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, clove buds. I don't even really get that much like spice. There's a hint of it, but it just makes it such a good pumpkin apple. I, every brand has their own version of this and I'll talk about like another version of it later on. But anything you can get, pumpkin apple, apple pumpkin, those types of things, typically they all smell a little bit, you know, the same, but I just love Bath and Body Works version. I think they do it so well. It's so good. It's just pumpkins and apples to me. Maybe a hint of spice. Um, this is such a good, like, transitioning from like summer to fall for me absolutely love it <laughs> so also from bath and body works we have cider lane so the notes on this are warm caramel granny smith apple dark brown sugar and ground clove to me this is caramel apple they used to have a wallflower not that long ago might I add they used to have a wallflower that was called caramel apple they do not have it anymore um, and I don't know if cider lane has just like replaced that but this really is caramel apple and I'm okay that as long as I have this I don't need like specifically caramel apple because that's what this is to me I don't necessarily get like brown sugar or very heavy spices like the ground clove I really do just get Caramel apple, which I absolutely love for the fall time. It's lovely. And I love this packaging as well. <laughs> Sorry if I'm shaking the camera as well. I'm using my desk as like, I don't have a separate table like I used to. I need to get one. So <laughs> this one is a little bit deeper into fall, if that makes sense. This is almost like fall into winter for me but still fall-esque, it's the perfect autumn from Bath & Body Works. I love this little design here. So this is fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove. So to me, cranberry borderline is all like winter kind of. So considering this has apple and pumpkin and cranberry, it's kind of like that mixture of like late fall into winter. To me, this smells, I've said this a million times, this smells like the winter, or sorry, the fall version of Spiced Apple Toddy. Absolutely love Spiced Apple Toddy, but that is my winter scent. <laughs> and this is the fall version to me. Also, this is a great thrower. I feel like fall candles in general, just because they're like a little bit spicier and like have heavier scents, as opposed to like spring and summer candles, they just throw better in general, <laughs> just because the scents are a little bit deeper. Um, but this one threw really well in my house. I absolutely love it. And I love the red color of wax. That's always really fun. And then transitioning to Walmart, I do have one candle I wanna mention from Walmart. It is the Mainstays Apple Cider Donut. So this really isn't very fall heavy whatsoever. Like it's not the heavy spices and those types of things. It's really a good break between those heavy fall spices because it really is just like a cider donut type of smell. It's like cinnamon sugar. You get a little bit of like a hint of fruit, like barely any. Um, it's really just like a, a donut-y type scent. I really do like it and I like it because it's a little bit of a break between the other things. Definitely a candle, once again, that you could light all the time, but considering it's apple cider, 
I feel like it is um, a nice mix in the fall and you could easily burn it in combination with these other candles. So while we're talking about Walmart, I wanna talk about Walmart wax. So I have quite the stacks of Walmart wax to talk about. So we're just gonna pull right from the top. First, I wanna talk about pumpkin marshmallow cream. So I know what I've told you guys, I feel like this is very similar to, is it van vanilla pumpkin? Something from Bath and Body Works, oh my gosh. I finished it. Is it vanilla pumpkin marshmallow? Oh my gosh, that sounds so wrong and I don't know why. I finished it up earlier this year, but this smells very similar to it. It's such, it's like a hint of pumpkin, but like very vanilla marshmallow-esque. <laughs> it's very, um, and once again, a good break between those heavier fall scents. I absolutely love this. I know some people said they weren't able to find this, so if you see it. <laughs> it really is a dupe, though, to me personally, of that Bath & Body Works candle, which I think is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, but I could be extremely wrong. This is a good one. Next, I have Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch from Better Homes and Gardens. So this one, to me, it says it's only, does it have apple in it? I don't, it, to me, it's like pumpkin, maybe a hint of apple. Um, in the description, it has caramel. When you smell it on cold, you're like, what? And honestly, lately, caramel has been such a hit or miss for me, but when this is warming and that caramel comes out with the pumpkins and the apples and the spices, it is so good. I would have a value pack in this, but I don't know that they sell a value pack in this. Um, so I just have bought like multiple little clams. It is so good. And it really, on cold, does not have the same, doesn't do it justice. When it's warmed, that caramel really comes out and it's so good. I could see how it would get cloying though. So I don't, I wouldn't like do it back to back to back. Gotta have a little break in the middle. Um, another one of my absolute favorites. I'm so typical, all these are like a little bit the same, but whatever. Um, Sensationals Pumpkin Apple Muffins. I recently got a value pack in this. This, okay, how many times am I gonna, gonna talk about like pumpkin apple scents? That's like a staple for me in the fall. I know some people are like, dude, like straight cinnamon. I'm very much pumpkins and apples. I don't know, I, I just prefer those. Mostly I prefer the mix, honestly. I don't love pumpkin on its own. I do enjoy when it's mixed with apple. So this is that, but it has like a muffin, bread, bakery type of note as well which makes it so good. <laughs> Another scent, I'll be warming whenever I want to. I'm definitely somebody who warms things not necessarily like seasonally. I don't know. I feel like I'm more particular with my candles than my wax about seasonal. So this is definitely the fall bakery. Absolutely love it. The fact that it has that bakery element added to the pumpkins and apples makes it so good. Um, classic standard farm apple pumpkin. This is the same as pumpkin apple. Like they're all along the same lines. This is a big boy. This one doesn't have as much spice, but it's still so good. It's, it's literally just apples and pumpkins. How many times can I talk about apples and pumpkins on here? <laughs> okay. Let us continue. So, um, where do we want to go next? Let's talk about this next. Same kind of family <laughs> situation. This is caramel bread pudding. So, like I've said, this is just a repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> caramel lately has been a little bit on the edge of cloying for me. I don't know, I used to be obsessed with it and I don't know if I just like totally burnt myself out or it's just things are changing. But now lately when I start to do like more caramel heavy or sweeter things, they're just a little bit too cloying for me. So this, I mean initially when I bought this, I was like not aware that I wasn't a fan of caramel anymore. But this one compared to some other caramel ones I bought has that bready note to it which makes it so good 
on cold in the clam, it doesn't, it smells cloying, honestly. Once you warm it, that bread, caramel bread pudding, the, the bakery bread part comes out and mixes with the caramel and I feel like that makes it so much better. This is one also, it's not necessarily fall, but this is something you could easily mix with like farm apple pumpkin, pumpkin apple muffins. This is easy mixer and it has that bakery element. So if there's something a little bit too spicy, you could easily mix it with this and kind of tone it down. So this is a favorite, not fall specific, but I do enjoy it with my fall scents. <laughs> Another repeat, <laughs> this is caramel apple spice. This is essentially caramel apple. This one's a little bit spicier than the Cider Lane. Like it has almost like a, not a cider, but something, maybe like a different type of apple almost. It smells sweeter in a way. This, the Cider Lane, smells a little bit heavier on the caramel, which is maybe the brown sugar, you know, a hint of that. This is more apple with a bit of caramel. So I really, really enjoy this. I mean, it's essentially this picture, <laughs> really. Um, but this is a very, very nice one. Not cloying though. So like I said, the caramel's a little bit more subdued. If you wanted to play up the caramel in the bakery, throw in caramel bread pudding. Okay, last two from Walmart. So I have Honey Crisp Cider. I was not a fan of honey scents until recently. I've been just like loving things with honey. It's kind of random. Same with cider. Cider recently, I've just been like, give me all the things that smell like cider. This is like, this honestly, just smelling it reminds me of the store Kirkland's. I don't know if you guys have a Kirkland's by you. It's like a Hobby Lobby-esque like home decor store and they always like, you know, have that craft store smell. This smells like a more subdued version of that because sometimes you walk in there, you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's very fragrance in here. This is like a little bit more subdued, but it's that type of fragrance to me. Not as intense as like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it other than it literally smells like Kirkland's walking into it. If you've been to a Kirkland's, let me know if this smells like you walking into Kirkland's. Okay, but it has a different type of fruit because it's not like super like apples or cranberry or those types of things and it's not pumpkin, you know what I mean? So it's like a different spin on fall and it's nice to mix up because obviously you can tell here I have a lot of like caramel, apple, pumpkin, bakery. This is like honey cider. It's, it's a nice mix, especially with all these other things. And then this one is way like off the wall out of my wheelhouse, but it's actually very nice. It is Sensationals Autumn Air. It says on here it's sweater weather, but this is not a dupe of sweater weather. This is just like a nice fall day, a little bit of leaves on the ground and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, with a hint of men's cologne. Just like a very, just a kiss of men's cologne. You know, let's see. Yes, it's just very like fall day, you know, before the snow fell. <laughs> It's really just like leaves falling. And then like I said, just like a hint of men's cologne. So a little bit like this picture, um, but maybe those leaves are on the ground. So, you know, you're walking along a trail and the leaves are on the ground and the person you're walking with smells nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, so definitely something that's very, very different from these other things, but it's kind of just like that fall fresh air with the fall leaves. So it's, it's nice especially as a separation from all these other things. So next I just have three from Scentsy. Um, I have a ton of fall Scentsy scents, but I feel like a lot of my fall Scentsy I will likely do year round. I'll honestly likely do these all year round too, but they were a little bit more like rounding out this fall favorites for me. So they were like the top picks, even though I do love everything. So. 
I will leave a link to Shop Scentsy down below, but here are my Scentsy picks. The first one is Honey Pear Cider. Once again, with the honey and the cider. This is a little bit, it has pear, so it's different than the Honey Crisp Cider, because you definitely get the pear in the Scentsy one. But you definitely get that cider note that's like, not spicy, but it has a little kick, you know what I mean? This one smells more of a fruity cider, and this one you really get like the pear as the fruit. So they're a little bit different, both very nice and a little something different than apples and pumpkins. Um, next, I have from Scentsy Bright Cider Life. I'm not positive if you can get this anymore. I have it in my Scentsy Club because... This is my absolute favorite. So this is, <laughs> this is the epitome of, of everything I've talked about today. It's apples and pumpkins, cider, and like a little bit of spice. It does not smell like much in the clamshell. Like in the clamshell, it, it's like, uh, okay. It has something that's like a little bit woodsy in the best way possible. So you don't, you get it a little bit on cold or like in the clam and you're like, I don't really know what that is. When it warms in your house, it is heavenly. That, whatever that woody note is comes out, it's so good. And it's not in the description. I mean, the description is like apples, pumpkins, cider, and spices. I swear that's what the description is. It doesn't say anything about this woody extra note, but that is what makes the scent. And that to me is what makes the scent totally different from anything I've ever smelled. Definitely different from all these other waxes. So if you guys have tried this or have this in your club or were able to get your hands on it, do you love it? To me, it was easily the best scent. I mean, it's probably my favorite that's come out so far during this like fall winter season. Um, and then one, this is so not fall specific, but it's my absolute fave. I mean, I love Bright Cider Life, but this one is like any time of day, any time of year, I'm doing it. So this is apple butter frosting. This is so good. To me, this is apples. And um, I know some people say like buttercream frosting, but it's like, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's so good. It's like not necessarily a frosting to me. It's like apples or like apple cider. And there's a spicy note that's like very barely there like an apple cider. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's so good. I I could see where they get the buttercream frosting, but it's almost as if like it's a frosting that's not like thick, like you would like put on a cake. It's almost something that you would like drizzle like hot liquid, like like as if the frosting was apple cider. I don't know if that makes any sense. This one is one you definitely have to smell, but it has like a spicy note that comes out in it when it's warming and it's like not a red hot spicy type of like offend you. It's like a cozy, I want to spend all day just smelling this scent type of spiciness. Truly, if you have a consultant, <laughs> go over and smell their testers because you have to smell this one. And honestly, if they could give you a sample, you need to warm it to like really get that. Um, you can tell it's like so, like it'll stain the clam be just because it has like a lot of that like vanilla, like the oils that make it stain, you know, it's like a really... I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but this is one you have to get a tester of and smell because it's so good. So I feel like I did not do it justice describing it, but I promise you it's the best. So that is all of my fall 
favorites for home fragrance. Let me know what you guys are loving down below and I would love to check it out if I haven't already. Uh, but that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.